Hello class and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to finish creating our boat. So, let's start. All right, so this is where we left in our previous lesson. So I'm just going to start by getting closer here. And I'm going to select the loop selection tool. And I'm going to select all of those different polygons because I want to make this cabin a little bit bigger. So I have to select all of those polygons that create the cabin, including these ones over here. All right. Now I'm going to go to the other side, make sure that I select these other ones as well, and the ones inside, like that. Now with that selection of polygons, I'm going to use the scale tool and I'm going to scale this out. I'm just going to make it bigger. And I'm going to select all of these different edges and move them back. And scale them out a little bit so we can preserve this shape. And I'm going to move it back a little bit more. All right. And now I can move these polygons back a little and I'm going to scale them out, like so. And as you can see, this looks much, much better than before. I like it better. Now I'm going to load this selection by double clicking on it. And I'm going to invert this selection by pressing the letter U and then the letter I. Then I'm going to use the loop selection tool and pressing the Alt key, I'm going to deselect all of those polygons and also these ones over here, like that. And make sure that this selection is not selected. I'm going to select my object and I'm going to go to Select and Set Selection. Perfect. Now I'm going to use the ring selection tool and I'm going to deselect all of those polygons and also these ones at the bottom. I'm going to go to select and set selection. All right. And I'm going to apply this material to my object. And I'm going to drag this selection to the selection area. I'm going to duplicate this material I'm going to rename it and I'm going to make it a little bit brighter. I'm going to apply it to my object and I'm going to delete the previous one and apply the selection to the material. I like it. I think it looks really nice. I'm going to modify it a little bit. I'm going to continue. So I'm going to select this material and apply it to the boat. And I'm going to apply the selection. I think that this is going to look much better. Now I'm going to invert this selection of polygons and I'm going to deselect these polygons on the top and also these other ones. So I have selected only the ones at the bottom. I'm going to deselect that selection and select my object again. I'm going to go to select and set selection. And I'm going to rename this selection and apply it again to the material. I'm going to rename it and apply it like so. And as you can see, the windows were also selected. So I'm going to load this selection. I'm going to unselect these windows and I'm going to update my selection. I'm just going to make sure that I select all of those polygons. And now that it is OK, I'm going to go to Select and Set Selection. And as you can see, now it is OK. Now for the top part, I'm also going to use a red color, but this time it's going to be a little bit darker. And I'm just going to select the polygons at the top, including these ones and the ones over here on the top. I'm going to deselect that selection, select the object and go to select and 
set selection. I'm going to rename this selection and I'm going to apply this selection to the material. And you can see that it looks really nice. And I'm just going to modify this color a little bit. All right, I like it. Now I'm going to duplicate this material. I'm going to rename it and I'm going to make it a little bit brighter. And I'm going to use it for the top part. So I have to delete this other one. And you can see that this looks much better. And now I'm going to go to the right view. I'm going to make sure that the only select visible elements option is off. And I'm going to select all of those different points and move them down. That's going to look better. And I'm just checking that everything is OK. I'm going to select those points and move them a little bit to the front. Making sure that I select these other ones as well. I'm going to move them to the front just a little bit. Like that. And I'm going to make a quick render to see how this looks. And as you can see, this looks really nice. So our boat is complete. So I'm going to rename it. I'm going to duplicate it a few times. So we have different boats. I'm going to turn off the visibility for the rest of the boats, except for this one. And I'm going to rename this one to blue. This one is going to be white. And this one is going to be green. And now I'm just going to apply this white material to the white boat. I'm going to place it here. And I don't like how this looks. I think that it doesn't look that well. So I'm going to apply a blue material. And I like it. And what I have to do is to move this windows material to the right so we can see the different windows. And I'm going to apply a darker blue. I'm going to delete this one. And I'm going to apply this other one and apply this selection. I'm going to try with this other one and see how this looks. I'm going to delete this one over here and apply this selection to this one. And as you can see, this looks better. I like it. Now let's go to this other one. And I'm going to change the color for this one. I'm going to make it yellow. So I'm going to apply this yellow material. I'm going to delete this material that I don't need anymore. And I'm going to apply this selection to this material. And all I have to do is to assign a new material for the top part. I'm going to try with this brown material. And I'm just going to see how this looks. All right. I like it. Now let's work on the last one. I'm just going to replace this material here and apply this selection to this material tag. Like that. And I have to use a darker green like this one. And I'm going to apply this selection. All right. I like it. Now let's turn back on the visibility for all of these boats. And I'm going to move them to be able to see them all at once. So I'm going to move all of this to the right. And these ones as well. And finally, this other one. Like that. I'm going to select all of these objects and group them together. And I'm going to rename this group. I'm going to place it inside of this other group. I'm just going to place them here. And I'm going to select these two different boats. And I'm going to move them to the same position as the other ones and move these ones to the back, like that. Now I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to make sure that they are on the correct position for the Y-axis, like so. 
So now our boats are complete and I like them very much and as you saw they were really really easy to create and I'm just going to make a quick render to see how this looks and I love it I like all of the vehicles that we created and that's all for this lesson I hope that you learn something useful and I will see you in the following lesson Hey